Lockhart, Crockett, and Northeast. But Lockhart looking to avoid the season sweep and looking to get some revenge on the Trojans for last game. But they will still be fine moving forward heading into the postseason. Anderson is the only team right now that has locked in a playoff spot. They lock in that playoff spot with a win on Tuesday. Tuesday was our last time that we had a game together. It was that Northeast game. Anderson really came out with a purpose in that one, really trying to take it to Northeast as Northeast was able to keep it close with them last time. Anderson didn't want to have to deal with that again. And I imagine they'll look to do the same thing. The last time that these two teams met was, of course, on Anderson's home floor. It was a 69 to 53 win for the Trojans. Jaw Gully, he's been doing it all season and he certainly did it against Anderson the last time these two played back in January. Gully tallied 37 points and I don't, uh, I can't imagine that he's gonna come out too slowly here tonight. He's aggressive and he likes to get the shots up. Last time that these two teams played was a little weird. Jack Francis only played about so like five minutes in that game overall due to foul trouble. He would just come in pick up a foul and have to head to the bench. Hopefully he can stay on the floor a little bit more during this one as he will be a primary defender of Ja Gully in this ballgame. The closest uh, to 37 that they had was eight points from the big center major new. So Anderson really has one mission today and that's to slow down Gully. In the last contest as Francis was uh, held out with foul trouble, Bennett Blackerby and Mike Wagner along with Nate Langley, really picked up some of their offensive workload. Blackaby scored 17, Wagner had 15, Langley had 10. Just three minutes away from getting started in this one here this afternoon. This is, of course, a, a reschedule after we had our ice storm, quote unquote ice storm, um, over the past few days. Not nearly as bad as the one last season, of course, but Glad we were able to make this game up and certainly glad that we were able to come down to Lockhart at 11 a.m. on a Saturday instead of at 5 p.m. on a Friday night. It's all in all a win-win. Now we get some Saturday afternoon basketball, a good way to get your weekend kicked off. Hope you all had a nice Saturday breakfast. Now you're tuning in to some Trojan basketball. Looking to make it 11-0, push that district win streak to 20 Five. Just a few more, uh, a few more games left in this regular season. There will be three more after this one. Two of those will be at home, but the regular season finale for the Trojans will be on the road. running out of time here on the pregame countdown. Both teams out on the floor, ready to go.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Lions Band on the campus of Lockhart High School for today's contest between the Austin Anderson Trojans and your Lockhart Lions. Before we begin today's contest, we ask that you please stand, remove your hats, for the playing the national anthem. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now let's introduce today's starting lineups, starting with the visiting Trojans of Anderson High School. At guard, 6'1", junior, number one, Mitchell Whitlow. At guard, 6'0", junior, number 10, Bennett Blackerby. At guard, 6'2", senior, number five, Jake Francis. At guard, 5'11", senior, number 11, Mike Wittner. And at forward, 6'3", senior, number 24, Nate Langley. And the rest of the Trojans, the head coach, Daniel Pittsburgh. Ladies and gentlemen, on your feet, let's meet the starting lineup for your Lockhart Lions. At forward, a 6'2", sophomore, number 11, Ashton Dickens. At guard, a 5'10", junior, number 21, Trevon Hopkins. At guard, a 5'10", senior, number 12, Sean Schatzmater. The man. In the middle, a 16 senior, number 31, a -ma 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 major new. And that guard, a 5'10 senior, number three, John Gawley. And the rest of your Lions, the coaching staff, Colin Hart, Brandon Jenkins, and Dave Ward, the head coach for your Lockhart Lions, Bobby is. Back in and ready for it. This will be a good test for Anderson. As they got another game against an explosive player like Jaw Gully, it gives them a chance to test themselves in the ability to slow down an explosive scoring threat like that. This is probably the best scoring guard, pure scoring guard in the district. And if Anderson can limit him, I think the goal is definitely to limit him to, to less than he had in their last game. 37 is a heck of a lot of points. But Gully's going to get his just by the volume. Even if he's not hitting shots, he'll get him up. Here's the tip. Major New is probably going to win this one. But Whitlow able to take it away, so Anderson will start with possession. It's a weird time for us getting started at 1 p.m. As here comes Wagner for Anderson. He's going to pull up from the elbow, and we are underway. Mike Wagner knocks down the first basket of the game. Anderson has the lead. Here comes that guy, number three, with Shexnader outside. Blackerby defending. Wagner trying to come in and get the poke away. This is going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be off of Ashton Pickens. This will be Anderson basketball. So Anderson 
And Mike Wagner with a hot start. One point, one takeaway for the point guard. 7.31 remaining here in the first. Shex Nader goes over the screen on Wagner. Francis comes around. He's left open. He's going to take it into the paint. Dumps it off to Langley. Good feed underneath to get it to the big man. That's an assist for Jack Francis, and that's a basket for Nate Langley. Four to nothing, Anderson. Lockhart already starting with the quick timeout. That'll get the Anderson bench on their feet. Got a fresh set of gear today, not using my usual set. <laughs> um, and in this one, we were not given a spot cable, so it's going to be a whole lot of me throughout the game, and that's fine. Um, maybe it's not. I don't know. <laughs> but that's what you're going to get. But hopefully, along the way, we can get a nice win for Anderson. They already have a 4 nothing lead and have forced Lockhart into a timeout. Trojans in on defense. Wagner picking up Gully. Going to make it hard for him all the way up and down the court. Gully on the double. I think that's the right call. Just double the ball every time. As there's Anders. A Anderson does like to trap the ball here. As here's Gully. Thought about the three. Works his way around. Goes down hard. That's going to be out of bounds. Off of Lockhart. Off of Gully. And it will go to the Trojans. Whitlow to inbound. Wagner playing some solid defense on Gully there. Francis bringing the double as well. Now back outside, Langley and above the break three. He knocks it down, Nate Langley. Steadily spreading his range all around the arc now this season, making him above the break. Five points for Langley in the first couple minutes here. He's two for two. Gully gets around Francis, and Francis knocks that out of bounds. It'll stay here, but Francis on the swat. The Anderson team coming with some great energy here on a Saturday afternoon. Here's Andrews going right, looking for Gully. He gets it to him. <laughs> nice thing about our 1 o'clock start is getting barbecue after the game seems a whole lot more reasonable than getting it at like 9.30. As here's Pickens with it underneath. He can't get the shot, but he will get the foul. I believe that's going to go against Wagner. That's who looked like it was down there, and it was. So first foul of the game going against Anderson. First against either team, and it will go against the Trojan point guard. Pickens did get into the scoring column in the first game between these two teams. So Pickens able to make one. Francis lobs it ahead to Wagner. They got a streaking Langley. Nate's going to take it right at new and lay it in over the big man. And Nate Langley seems to take it personally whenever somebody on the other team dares be taller than him. Because he always goes right at those kind of players. No fear. And the Anderson center is news going to go right at him. Langley going to get called for the blocking foul. That'll be two on Anderson. Lockhart able to get it in. Andrews loses it, gets it back. Going to get it to Gully in the corner. Jaw going to take the shot over two defenders, and that's an air ball. Not the best advised shot for the leading scorer of the Lions. Here's Whitlow to Langley to Francis, and he'll head to the line. And that'll be a foul on Gully. Keep calling him Jake Francis. <laughs> as, a, as a Jack, I got that a lot too, which I, I never understood. I always felt like Jack is a much more common name than Jake. As Jake knocks down the first free throw. Zach makes the second. So two points for Francis Anderson, already into double figures. 11 points for them so far. So. A high-scoring quarter for Anderson. Francis nearly able to intercept that pass just a little out of his reach. But here's Andrews getting it over to Gully. Now Francis picks up Gully. Gully kind of jumps backwards into him. That's going to be a miss, but he'll get his own board. Goes back up on the follow, and that toilet bowls in. 
as Gully gets his first make of the game, the first basket of the game for the Lions. Here's Langley, gets it to Whitlow. Whitlow puts it on the floor, skips it to the corner for Francis. Jack in a drive baseline. Now back outside, Wagner for three. That's no good. Langley skies for the board, gets it back. Whitlow has it, and now Mitchell's going to head to the line on the foul for New. It's this Lockhart team. Players complaining about these fouls a lot. Both Gully and New giving the officials an earful after those two calls on them on this end. As Mitchell's first foul shot's going to rattle in. Mitchell goes two for two, gives Anderson its 10-point lead back. Now here's Andrews on the right wing, Blackerby defending. Goes cross court with it. Leads to an open three-pointer that's no good for Trevin Hopkins. Now underneath to Major New, and he goes over Langley and gets the basket. First points of the game for New. Two team fouls apiece. Now here's Wagner, gets it to Whitlow off the tip. Now Wagner skips to Francis into the corner for Blackerby. His first attempt is good. Bennett Blackerby from downtown from that corner. First field goal attempt and make of the game for Bennett. Now into the corner. Another open three that's going to be no good. Blackerby's able to tap it out for Francis. Jack now into the front court. Loses it, but it goes to Wagner. Whitlow trying to get it. Andrews comes up with it. Now... It's Hopkins who just missed the three. Pass ahead to Gully. Langley gets it back, and that's going to be a foul against Hopkins. So that's the third team foul going against Lockhart. Two on Anderson. And so far in this one, they're letting them play unless it's a pretty big hit. Wagner gets around his man, takes it straight to the basket. No call on the floor, Langley on the board. Skip out to Francis. No shot at three. Wagner going to get it back, take it to the hole. Now back outside for Whitlow for three. That's good, Anderson. Everyone on the team hitting their shots here in the first quarter. That's another shot from downtown. The third of the game for the Trojans so far from three different players. Now here's Gully going to work on Francis Jack with his hands up. Gully gets to the basket, lays it up and in, and one. Is it going to be against Langley, Francis? They're going to call Langley for that. That'll be 2-1, Nate. And after a hot start, he'll check out for Fred Dale. If I would have called a foul on anybody on that possession, I think it would have been Francis. But really, I think... Gully did a good job creating that contact and getting himself to the line. He misses the free throw. But here comes Wagner pushing the pace. Now rifle into the corner for Francis. He's left wide open. That's good. Another three-pointer for the Anderson Trojans in this first quarter. They're up to 22 halfway through the quarter. Still over three minutes to play. Now here's Gully. Four points for him. He's driving to the paint, going up with it. That's no good. Rebound underneath goes to Pickens. Pickens back outside for Williams. Williams going to try. That's no good. Rebound Blackerby. Bennett moving the ball up now for the Trojans. Gets around his man. Step back for three. That one's off. Whitlow goes high for the rebound. Spins away. Gets it back. Francis now going to step into the corner. His three is good. Anderson, a three-point barrage in the first quarter. Down in Lockhart. 25-7, still three minutes to play in the quarter. Gully kills his dribble, looking for New inside. They're going to bring the double with Blackerby and Dale. His shot's no good. Rebound Shexnader. That's blocked by Whitlow. Out of bounds, it'll stay here. And here I was this morning feeling sluggish. This Anderson team, this barrage of offense... In the opening frame, it's really woken everybody up here. Now back outside for Williams. They do get it in. 
Now here's Shaq Snader. It's a very small lineup in the game now for Lockhart aside from New. They get it to him in the post. The double comes from the Trojans. He's going to try and split it and split it. He does. That's a nifty move underneath for Major New to get to the basket. Just kind of spun away from the two defenders. Black could be going to try from three. That's no good. Air ball. Rebound underneath to Dale. Fred stuck without a dribble. Now Blackerby stuck. He's going to dish it off to Whitlow. Mitchell going to pull it out for Blackerby into the corner. He's going to try again. That's good. Bennett Blackerby from downtown. Anderson continues to stay hot. So behind the weight of the three ball is Gully's going to try, and he answers. That gives Gully seven in the quarter, but Anderson still out to a 16-point lead, still a minute and a half to play in this quarter. Blackerby going to try again. Can't keep it going. Francis misses the board. Whitlow able to clear it. Dale, now back to Blackerby. Francis in the corner. Jack looked at it. It's going to get around Gully. Has him on his hip. He's going to step back into the mid-range. This is it to Pizarian. Beautiful feed inside by Jack Francis. Nice little cut there from Ben. Gets his first basket of the game. Anderson's up to 30. Gully gets around everybody and to the basket. Already nine points in the game for Ja Gully, but already eight for Jack Francis. Now here's Blackerby. He's going to lose it. And that's really, it felt like the first mistake of the game for Anderson. Four different Anderson players have hit a three in this quarter. Here's Gully, 50 seconds left. Lazy pass, Blackerby comes and takes it away. It's gonna go out of bounds. No, not out of bounds, it will, s yeah, now out of bounds. Blackerby lost it, Gully was trying to draw the charge. Instead, they just let Blackerby and Gully kind of run into each other. Blackerby lost the ball, and then in trying to dive for it, Schexnader ended up with his butt on the line. Therefore, out of bounds, Anderson basketball. 30 seconds to go as Campbell Duncan's checked into the game. Francis has it outside. 25 to go now. 16-point lead for the Trojans. Dale has to go out and get that one. Now Fred going to drive to the paint. No one to cover the basket. And he's going to get to the basket and be fouled by Daniel Morales. So now 16 seconds remain in the quarter. Lockhart will get a last look at it. And Dale heads to the line the last time these two teams played. He had two. Dale scoreless in the last outing. Fred knocks down this one, though. Armor ready to check in, and they'll get Dale. Anderson only has four players now. Dale's still, okay, Dale's still in. Bazarian checks out for Armour. So Fred makes both and he'll stay in the game. Give you Williams to bring it up for Lockhart. Dishes it off. Blackerby's going to take this away. He'll have a run out. Easy layup on the other end for Bennett Blackerby. He's got eight in the quarter. Now four seconds. If Lockhart's able to get it in, Sean Schexnader has it. Gully going to get a heave off. Ooh. Almost had it. But you can't, can't really complain about that quarter from Anderson. 34 points in the first. Might be their high on the season. I remember in that McCallum game where Anderson just exploded. It was... Um, Yep, Anderson with 34 in the quarter. Mitchell Whitlow, five points. Jack Francis and Bennett Blackerby both with eight. Wagner and Bazarian and Dale all have two. Langley has seven before picking up that second foul after an incredibly hot start for Nate. Again, don't have a spot cable today, so we're going to go ahead and keep it here throughout. I want to thank our sponsors on tonight's broadcast for Anderson, Howie Breen, and Herman, as well as Encotech.
as Anderson has jumped out to a 20-point lead on Lockhart's home court. Jock Gully and Major New combine for 13 of the team's 14 points. Ashton Pickens knocked in a free throw to get the other. But now it will be Lockhart ball out of the end of the first quarter. They do have possession. Pickens inbounds it to Gully. Now they're going to trap Jaw out at the per at the uh, half court line here. Now they get it back to him and left him open. That's a good look at a three for Gully. Rebound one hand to Whitlow. Now Mitchell pushing pace. He gets it back to Blackerby Bennett, and you're going to get him on a carry. Neither team score on their first possession of the second. Here's Tay Andrews bringing it up, gets it to Pickens. Giving Gully a little bit of off-ball responsibility to let him rest a little bit. As here's Andrews back to Pickens, looking for Gully. Wagner able to poke this away from Pickens. We'll just have to zip it back across to Andrews. Four points in the last game that these two teams played. Now Pickens looking for Gully there, just denying the ball to him. As Andrews going to catch, pump fake the three. Gully with it on the perimeter now. Now zipping it across to Andrews. Andrews and flying around on defense here. So they'll get it back outside to Gully. Gully fakes the pass, gets into the lane, a little scoop shot, went a little iffy, and now it's going to be a foul underneath going against Anderson. Heading to the line will be Ashton Pickens. So Hopkins in the game, number 21. Ashton Pickens in the game, Jaw Gully, Major New, and Tay Andrews. As Pickens hits the first. He's two for three from the line today. Blackerby, Whitlow, Francis, Dale, and Wagner in for Anderson. Ashton Pickens goes two for two. He's three for four from the line today. Whitlow gets it into Jack. He'll be over in the corner. Wagner bringing it up. Gets it over to Jack. Jack going to drive into the lane. Back outside for Dale. Shot from the corner. That's going to be too strong. Rebound Hopkins. 34-16. Lockhart with the ball. Andrews all the way to the basket, goes right at Dale, and they're going to call a blocking foul. What you do? That's several uh, on these block versus charge calls. It's been a lot of blocks today, even if it seemed like a player had plenty of time to get set. Of course, no restricted area in the high school ranks. There's a rainbow there. Falls in for Andrews. So two for two from the line there. As Whitlow gets it into Francis. No points left yet in the first quarter. Here's Black to be into the corner. Wagner, that's going to be out of bounds, and they're going to stay off of Wagner. Anderson getting a raw whistle here in the first half. All the, a lot of these 50-50 calls going to Lockhart. But that's the nature of the game. Anderson just half a second late on some of these things, and otherwise they'd be getting the calls. Now here's Gully working in, and that's going to be knocked away by Dale. Another turnover by Lockhart. Pass ahead to Francis Jack, going to take it to the basket. Dishes it off at the last minute. Beautiful feed into Blackerby, who's now the first Anderson player into double figures. And good on Jack there as well, because if he continues to crash for the basket, I think Andrews was in place to draw that charge. Here's New, turnaround hook is good. New much more productive in this second game than he was in the first game between these two teams. Here's Wagner, as ooh, he just kind of got caught. That's going to be another turnover. 16 point game, as here comes Gully. Dribbles to his right, spinning into the post, laying it up, and too strong as there's New missing the shot. Gets his own board, misses again, gets it up, and now he'll head to the line. Camp down there in the lane for an awful long time. Gets himself a trip to the free throw line. We'll have some substitutions. Nate Langley back into the game. 
Blackerby and Wagner are going to get a rest. So it's Whitlow, Francis, Langley, Gill, and Bazarian. Misses. Can't hit either. He gets it ahead to Gill. Now Jackson fades into the corner. His three-pointer is no good as Anderson cooling off. Gully pushing. Going to go right at Bazarian. Pushes off Bazarian. No call. No whistle on either player at least. Francis, now here he comes. That's going to be another one going against Gully. That's at least two on jaw. <laughs> uh, official <laughs> taking his time on that one. This here's Francis. Now Jack back for Whitlow. Whitlow going to sidestep the defender, take the three, and knock it down. That's the second shot from deep for Mitch Whitlow in this one. He's got eight points in the first half. He had eight in the last game against Lockhart. And a much welcomed presence back into this lineup as Gully's going to get to the basket and lay it in over Francis. 11 points in the game for Ja. Now here's Gill. Andrews defending him, but not really. Gill's just going to blow right by him. Kicks to the corner for Bazarian. His three is no good. Rebound Francis. That's no good. Rebound Langley. Nate loses it out of bounds, and it's going to go. <laughs> it's going to be off of Anderson. Here's Andrews. Going to get switched out onto Langley. Now a mismatch for Bazarian and New. Get it back outside for Andrews. Had a look at a three if he was able to hold on to the ball. Now here comes Gully. It's going to step into a three. Misses. Rebound goes to Francis. Pass ahead to Langley. Nate gets it. Bumped. And he can't get the shot to go. But it will go on Andrews. Probably should have been a foul on the other end on the closeout for Gully. He hit the floor pretty hard. So Anderson fortunate to not get a, a whistle on the three. That they're going to get that one on the floor. Is Gill going to get it out to Francis? 39-22, four minutes to go in the quarter. Francis into the air, back outside for Gill. Gill skips it across to Bazarian. Ben drives in, has to force himself back to Whitlow. Whitlow now gets it to an open Gill. Gill can't connect. Rebound goes high to Francis. Francis throws it off new, and that'll stay on this end. Trojans making those hustle plays. As here's Gill, they just get it into Francis in the lane. Jack gonna take it. Now back outside to Armour. Jack will take it back and he's left open for three and that's good, Jack Francis from downtown. 11 points in the game for him. Three ball dropping for the Trojans here. 42-22. Gully works his way around Francis and that's definitely a foul. Gully, the way he contorts his body, makes it really hard to not foul because he sort of jumps into the defender. He looks for contact any time. Gets the ball. Because that's going to be another foul against Jake Francis. Gully makes the first. Because now Jack's parents are, are in on the joke. And it will be Jake Francis forevermore. Gully rattles them both in, able to get it into Gill. Now they're going to push the pace halfway through this quarter. Now Bazarian attacking the closeout, tried to get it into Armour, and that's going to be a turnover. New able to get the takeaway. Eighteen point game with Gully out on the wing. He has Armour on him. Going to drive in, pulls up from the mid range. His shot is good. That'll be a timeout for Anderson as he gets it back down to a 16-point lead and his point total ever.
It's going to be Whitlow, Blackerby, Bazarian, Gill, and Armour. So heavy on the substitutions here in this one. Get it for Whitlow. Mitchell facing up on New. Putting it on the floor. Going to try and get around the big man. Does. Flows up the shot. No good. Bazarian tried to get the board. Shexnader able to clear it. He's going to be doubled underneath. Going to have to worry about getting this one over half court. And they get it over to Gully. Gully looks up. Going to drive in. Take the shot. No good. Rebound batted away. Bazarian clearing. Anderson has a two on two. And that's going to be a blocking foul going against Lockhart. So that'll be free throws for Bazarian. Officiating, you're never gonna, never gonna make everybody happy. <laughs> Bazarian steps to the line for a one and one, hits the first. So a nice output from a lot of these guys here. Bazarian already with three in the first half, the chance to add on one more. He does, two for two from the line for Ben. Lead is back out to 18. And Jaw Gully still has the basketball. Now here's Andrews on the wing. Gill going to drive to his right. Now back outside for Shexnader. He's going to attack the paint. Goes up with it. No good. Rebound loose and into Bazarian. Now Ben going to slow it down. Smart choice. A lot of traffic over there in the front court. Slows down. Now back for Whitlow. Mitchell left open. He's going to try the shot. That's no good. Rebound. A couple of Trojans had a shot at it, but Andrews is the one to come away with it. It's a three-on-one, and they're going to get Blackerby on the whistle there. Wagner ready to check back in along with Dale. Pickens also checking in. Brady Stevenson going to head out. So Blackerby checks out, Wagner checks in. Andrews misses the front end, Armour over there to grab the rebound, got away with a travel on that. Chopped his feet after the board. But now here comes Wagner, screen comes for Armour. Back outside for Dale, Dale gonna try the three, that's a line drive, no good. Rebound, Major New, not much you can do about that. Now here comes Gully going right at Bazarian. Takes the bump, misses the shot, and ooh, good job by Derek Armour to bat away the rebound. Wagner loses it back to Armour. He takes a bump from Gully. As Gully wants a call, but if there is a call to be made, it's a foul on him. As the ball, Wagner lost it, and it went into the hands of Armour. As Wagner goes around the screen, kicks it back outside. They left Dale open. Dale going to put it on the floor. Gully gets a poke out. He's going to get a shot at the rim now. And Wagner tries to force the miss. Can't get it. Gully gets another layup. 17 points for him in the first half. One minute to go. Now Mike. Here's Armour. Looking for Gill. Gill comes around the screen and said it'll be Wagner. Anderson. Getting ready to send the starters back in if they have a shot at it. Wagner just going <laughs> to run time off the clock while they let him. Wagner steps back. Now they get it into Armour in the high. Looking for Gill. Now they'll get it back out to, to Mike. 30 seconds left. Back to Dale. Pass fake, looking for somewhere to go with it. <laughs> They're able to find Wagner. Now 20 seconds to go. Andrews picking up Mike. Is Wagner going to lose it, get it back? And that's going to be a foul against Lockhart. Second on Tay Andrews. Looks like a little bit of a trip. Now Anderson will get... Starters back in, but they will send Langley to the bench. Don't need him picking up another foul. So Whitlow and Blackerby back in for Bazarian and Gill. So it's Dale, Armour, Wagner, along with Blackerby and Whitlow. As Wagner hits the front end.
45-28 with 14 seconds. As Wagner goes two for two to make it 46 to 28. Now here comes Gully with 10 seconds left. Anderson needs one stop. I think you know who's gonna get this shot up. <clears throat> As here's Shexnader driving in. Blackerby takes it away. Anderson will have a two on one. Gets it to Blackerby. Bennett misses the layup. Whitlow is there on the follow at the buzzer. And Anderson tacks on one more as we head to the break. That puts Mitchell into double figures. Bennett also in double figures after that miss still. So 10 points for Whitlow and Blackerby, 11 for Francis, four for Wagner and Bazzari, and seven for Langley. Scored all of those in the opening minute. guys in um, when they have a lead honestly I think some of it is because he wants to get those guys some run and I also think it's he doesn't want the starters to come in and blow blow the game out a little bit too much and some of those rotation guys to to keep it going a little too much as we are already at a 20 point game and that was just an excellent offensive quarter it was it they haven't really had that game where except for that McCallum game uh, where Anderson, really everybody on the team is just able to put it together and find that shooting stroke all at the same time. And that's a tough thing to put together, but Anderson picked a good time to do it today on a Saturday afternoon to kick off their weekend.
Last three games of the season will be home against Travis. That'll be 7.30 on Tuesday, and then back to our 8 o'clock starts next Friday, the 11th. Crockett coming to town. That will be senior night, as we mentioned, and then the final game of the season will be on the road over at McCallum at 8 p.m. It was a weird game last time. It got a little testy at times. But if Anderson is able to win out, which they have shown no signs of slowing down, that would be 28 district wins in a row. That is quite an accomplishment no matter who you're playing. But we're halfway through halftime here. Anderson should be getting back out onto the court to get up some foul shots, or just some shots soon. 10-0 in the season in district with three more full games to play and one more to finish out here. Imagine these guys might go grab some food after the game. There's a lot of excellent food in this town. A lot of your favorite films and TV shows also filmed in Lockhart. Got a very nice courthouse. Very picturesque. But it's been another big game for Jaw Gully. 17 points. Anderson not even playing him. <laughs> I have really no problem with how Anderson's been playing him. He's just a, a, a real monster of a player. And this is a big game for Lockhart. You know, any time that Anderson comes to town, there's a little bit of a target on their backs at this point for how well that they have played in district so far throughout these past couple seasons. But this team is ready for the postseason. They are built for the postseason. Hopefully Anderson able to make a deep run this year. They are two years in a row getting to the quarterfinals round, but unable to make it past it in either one. And that's really when you can feel the competition start to ramp up. You're starting to play a lot of those other first place teams in district. And the competition really stiffens. If you remember, that Hendrickson team from last year was just the leagues ahead of the other two teams that Anderson played in the playoffs. That's an excellent school and an excellent team and their basketball program. I think they're a little bit down this year, had a lot of seniors and a few guys I know, I believe, transfer out to go to go like the prep route. Um, Anderson has a chance. You never know on any given day, but if they're able to take care of their, uh, their opponents in the first two rounds, things will open up for them. And they'll have to play a lot of excellent teams and a lot of tough basketball if they want to push it even further, but Anderson, uh, really, just a, a, a really memorable past few seasons for them. Some of the more successful teams in the school's history over the past few years, making it back-to-back uh, -back seasons with multiple playoff wins. Unfortunate that the road ever has to end, but we are getting to that point. It's hard to believe only three more regular season games after this. Glad that a couple of those are going to be at home, at least, as the Trojans are making their way back out onto the court.
in to defend Wagner. Andrews back out on the court along with Hopkins and Pickens and New. You good? What are we waiting on? Ah. That's what we're waiting on. Here we go. Wagner around the left side looking for Francis. They're trying to get it back to him. It's not there. But Langley going to hand it off to Jack. Jack going to come up firing. That's going to go over the backboard, and it will be out of bounds. Lockhart basketball. So 0 for 1 to start. So here's Gully. Gets it over to Andrews moving through. Francis picking up. Andrews working around. Wagner able to take it away. Over to Whitlow. Now ahead to Blackerby. Bennett going to take it all the way. Goes around and uses the basket as a as an avoidant for the shot blocker, and that's his first make of the second half for the team. 12 points in the game now for Bennett. Now Gully driving in, pulling up, floating, no good, rebound new. Black could be there to try and take it away. Major puts it on the ground, throws an elbow, and they're going to call a foul on Whitlow. Mitchell took a nasty elbow there from new, and he's still going to get the foul called on him. New knocks down the first. Not really sure <laughs> how that's a sh foul or how that's on Whitlow. But New goes two for two. He's got eight in the game. Pushes it back down to a 20-point deficit. Now Francis gets it to Langley. Fakes the handoff. Pivots. Back outside for Wagner. Wagner going to attack Gully. Goes right around. Misses the layup and rebound goes to Pickens. Now here comes Gully running the other way. Gets around Blackerby, takes it right at Whitlow, and that's going to be a charge. Third on Gully. Finally, Anderson able to pick up a charge there. As Whitlow gets it into Wagner. Gully picking up full court after picking up that third foul. Wagner got right around him into the paint over to Langley. Nate's going to bump New, takes it, and that'll be a foul underneath on New. <laughs> Nate tried to take it right at him, and New didn't move an inch. It will stay here on the floor. It's the second team foul already against Lockhart. They get it into Francis. Jack facing up, getting around Andrews. Andrews sticking with him. Jack goes up with it, and that's going to be a foul against Andrews. Two more for Jack. It'll be the third on Andrews, third on Lockhart. And I think <laughs> I think that Lockhart's coach might have just got teed up. No? They blew the whistle and drew everybody away. I think I might be wrong. But he did blow the whistle after, like, talking to him for a little while. So figured something was up. Maybe it's just uh, something at the scores table. But Jack goes one for one on the first. 51 to 30. Looking to make it a 22-point lead. And he does. 13 now for Jack. 52 to 30. Now here's Gully on the right wing, steps back. Ooh. He can score it. Now here's Wagner. Gets into the lane, into the corner. Back outside for Francis. Francis going to put it on the ground. He's kind of stuck down there. It's good defense from Andrews, but a better move from Wagner. How about that off-ball cut? Gully's had a hard time just sticking with Wagner today. As Gully going to get it to the basket, lays it in. As Gully's impressive scoring night continues, but Anderson able to attack him a little bit defensively. As Langley, what a catch and what a finish. How about that? Nate Langley gets his first basket of the second half in dramatic fashion. Lead is back to 21 as here comes Gully. 
stepping back into the corner. That's got to be an offensive foul. That's a, not a good move from Gully. Gully is acting like he can't believe it, but he got Wagner off the floor and then gave him an elbow. And that's that's just that's. Gully's had more of a case on many of his other calls today. As now Lockhart's coach is going to get that technical. I mean, that's four on Gully, and this this is not the time to argue. That's the most obvious foul of the game on Gully. He got Wagner around him, and then as he tried to lean into him, he gave Mike an elbow, and that's just. You can't do that as an offensive player as Jack's going to hit the free throw. As Jack makes, misses the second. So Jack goes one for two on the technical free throws. As Anderson on the offensive foul and the tech will get the ball. And that's four on Gully, so go at him. Go at him all game. Get him out of here. Here's Langley. Looking for somewhere to go. Gets it to Wagner. Wagner going to go right around Gully. Kicks it in underneath to Francis. Jack able to get around New. Gets his own board over everybody. Dishes it off to Wagner. Jack gets out of the lane. Now here comes Wagner. Zips it cross court for Blackerby. He's going to take it right into the lane. Up and under is good. Bennett Blackerby. 14 in the ball game for Francis and Jack. As we have a timeout on the court for Lockhart as Anderson has really come out. This second half starting off strong for Anderson as we have seen all season. These third quarters continue for the Trojans. Jock Gully, 22 points in the game though, four fouls. 30 second timeout, of course, keeping it right here as we are throughout the game. 59-35, the Trojans have the lead. Want to do some quick math. Yeah, we got it right. 14 points apiece for Blackerby and Francis. Whitlow with 10. Langley able to add one more. He has nine. Gully going to head to the bench for the first time in this game. With those four fouls. So Anderson only giving up 35 in the game through a quarter or two and a half quarters here. And now that Gully's on the bench, it might be even harder for Lockhart to find offense. But here's Shexnader. Switched out on the Langley. They're trying to get it into Stevenson. They go cross court to Andrews. Might be time for him to get a few more shots up. He uses the screen, steps back on the Langley. Now back out for Shexnader. Over to Andrews. 4.35 to go in the quarter. Andrews going to take it to the basket. His layup is good. Figured as much. Might be time to let him cook as Francis is going to step into a three and drill it. Jack knocking on the door. Back-to-back -back 20 pieces. He has 17. Had 20, of the po uh, 20 points in the game last, uh, last Tuesday. 62-37. As Francis able to get out onto Andrews. Langley looking for... A steal, and they're going to get it on Langley. DJ Williams in. He's able to get it into Andrews. Andrews working on Blackerby, stepping back. You can tell he's going to try and get downhill. In into the corner for Williams. Now officially halfway through the third quarter. Back outside as that's Daniel Morales in the wing. Andrews loses it. Stevenson there on to set the screen. Going a double big lineup against Anderson now. Now into the corner for Morales. His three-pointer. That's going to be blocked by Blackerby. And New can't save it. That'll go Anderson's way. Good job for Bennett. Getting out onto the wing to block that Morales triple. 3.40 left in the third quarter. Whitlow to Francis. Jack going to step back. Thought better of it. Got the ball back. Now going to go to the lane and lay it up and in. Jack Francis executing that give and go very well. Now here's Andrews. I believe it was Langley on the feed there. Now into New. New loses it. Langley pushing the other way. It's Wagner. It's Francis. It's two more. That'll make 21 for Francis. 
Anderson has pushed it out to a nearly 30 point lead. They've got it at 29 with 3.09 to go here in the quarter as things. We've got a number I don't have on my roster. And they don't have it on their roster either. They've got all the players' names listed over there on the scoreboard. And they don't have a number one as Bazarian hits the floor as Andrews. Nice move, but takes it to the lane. Is going to get a foul called. as Gully is really harping on that, that ankle breaker, but they are down by 29 points. So I don't think Bazarian is gonna mind that too much. Xandrews has been good at the foul line when he's got there. Six for Andrews. 21 for that man right there, Jack Francis. Jack crosses over, going to try and get around Andrews. Screen comes for Langley. Francis, ooh, tried to get it out, and Black will be able to save it before it goes out of bounds. Bennett gets around the defender, kicks outside for Bazarian. He's left open for three. Can't hit. Rebound Blackerby. Now back to Bazarian. Ben over to Francis. Jack going to put it on the floor. Crosses over on Andrews. Loses it, gets it back. Now into the corner for Blackerby. He has an open lane to the basket. Takes it in. Misses. Langley cleans it up. That's the fourth Anderson player into double figures now. Langley with 11. 68 to 39. Two minutes to go in the quarter. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's Andrews. Going at Dale. Now back outside for Stevenson. Stevenson gets it to Williams. Now back out for number one. Sorry, pal, your name's not on the not on the roster here. Uh, they get it out to Williams. Now back in for Pickens. Pickens is going to take it to the hole on Langley. Can't get it to go. Almost got his own miss, but Francis is there to clear it away. And Anderson going to push pace and hand it off to Blackerby. Bennett going to step back into the corner. That's no good. Rebound high to Pickens. Langley, ooh, got to be careful not to pick up that fourth foul. Under 90 seconds to play here in the third. This here's Andrews, now back out into the corner. Now here comes Andrews with a minute left in the clock. Francis able to knock that out of bounds. So we'll stay here. Getting ready to check back in is Trevin Hopkins. Francis going to he head out, so it's all bench in for Anderson now. Armour, Dale, Gill, Duncan, and Bazarian. Looking to get it into Stevenson. They get it back outside for, uh, uh, for Tay Andrews. Six points in the game for him. Minute left here in the third. Screen comes. Campbell Duncan going to come pick up. He's going to fire away and knock it down. Three. 68-42. Here's Dale. Facing up on Stevenson. Gets it to Campbell Duncan, who's going to put it on the floor. Take it to the basket. Gets it to go, but that'll be a charge. I think that's the right call. Lockhart player. Looked like he was set up there. 
Campbell initiating the contact. Picks up the foul. Five team fouls against Lockhart, three against Anderson as Andrews loses it. 30 seconds left. Pickens back to Andrews. And Stay Andrews has picked up a lot of the scoring slack, really all the scoring slack, ever since Gully went down. As Bazarian's going to take the charge, and that is an offensive foul. Ben Bazarian getting into position and getting it back. That'll be four on Andrews and four on Gully, their two leading scorers. Has no um, free throws with the bonus, but now there's 15 seconds left. And it will be Gill for Anderson. Looking to push it to 70 before the start of the fourth quarter. Six seconds. Now Gill going to drive in. Kick to the corner. Bazarian has a shot at it. That's no good. Armour can't get the board. Pickens has it. And Andrews doesn't get to it before he can get As Lockhart steps back out on the court, Gully is going to be back out on the court with those four fouls as we start the fourth. It'll be Daniel Morales to inbound the ball for the Lions. Lions going to try and make something out of this. As here's Gully with Francis defending. Gully driving in, gets a shot off, and that's a beautiful floater for Gully. Comes right back in to make a difference. As now a lob ahead to Langley, as that's going to be... <laughs> Intercepted and taken away by New. As here comes Gully the other direction. Francis picking him up. Gully to his left. Hop step. As, ooh, that's, that's not a great call. Getting it by reputation at this point. And Gully thinks he should get more calls. You know what they say off the missed free throw. As Gully goes 0 for 2. And this is going to be another foul against Anderson. They're going to get Whitlow. That's the last foul to give for Anderson. 2 fouls in 25 seconds. As Lockhart goes 0 for 3 on free throws to start the quarter. Make it 0 for 4. Now rebound batted around. New tried to get it. Langley able to track it down. Now here comes Wagner out and running. Mike into the corner for a wide open Francis. Not today. This one. Taken away by Blackerby. Gully couldn't get it back. Now here's Wagner Anderson with another possession out of this. Here comes Whitlow facing up against New. He's going to go right at him into the corner for Blackerby. Bennett going to rise up. Can't connect. Rebound Morales, but that he's standing out of bounds. So it stays here. Anderson, the well of offense drying up a little bit. They're getting Pickens back into the game. Stevenson going to check out. And they're going to get Tay Andrews back into the game as well.
Oh, Francis <laughs> got around Andrews, gets it back to Langley. Now Langley going to face up, kick to the corner for Whitlow. His three-pointer on the way is good. Third triple of the game for Mitchell Whitlow. He's got 13 points. As here's Gully now driving in, steps into the corner, trying to get around Langley. They get it into the corner again on the opposite side. Now here's Andrews. Back for Gully. Gully going to fire away. His three is off. Rebound taken away by Pickens. His foul is good. Now that's five in the game for Ashton. 70-46. Wagner around, fakes the behind the back pass and Razon Rondo, how do you do? Wagner getting into his bag of tricks on that one. Eight points, new going right at Langley, displaces him off the block. Pickens able to get the board back. Nice job to bat it to himself. As here's Andrews going right at Francis. Now back outside, Gully going to take the deep three, and that's going to be off the front of the rim. Pickens tries to get it back, and he does. Steps back, now over to number one. He's going to drive in, pull up from the elbow, and send it back to Tay Andrews. Six minutes remain in the game. Black will be picking him up. Francis tried to get that steal and get it away from Gully, but now Jaw going to drive in. Gets to the basket, and the spin on that ball gets Gully to the, to the rim for his 26th points of the game. 50 or 5.50 left in the game. This here's Wagner. Gully flopping on every opportunity. <laughs> it's fine if you want calls. Just don't stop playing to argue about calls. He took light contact from Wagner and light contact for Langley and went to talk to the official while the game was going on. Just play. Now here's Langley out on Gully. Gully all the way to the basket and misses short. Rebound Langley. Wagner with a chance to run. He's got Bazarian. Goes back to Francis. Jack going to set up for three. That's no good. Rebound going to go out of bounds. Whitlow saves it just before it could. Now here's Francis driving in, looking for something to do with it. Now he's stuck. He'll just, stuck, just have to get it out to Bazarian. Now Bazarian over to Langley. Five minutes to go. It's 73 to 48. Now here's Francis Bazarian in the corner, Gully defending him. Ben dishes it off to Langley. Langley putting it on the floor. He got caught, and that's going to be out of bounds off of Lockhart. Francis with Andrews defending. Bazarian coming around the screen, takes it. He's going to drive to the baseline, dishes it off to Whitlow. Back out for Wagner. Mike going to take it to the paint, back for Francis. Jack going to try again at a three. That's good. Jack Francis from downtown. He's up to 24 points. Four and a half remain. Anderson getting ready to send the bench in. As Gully with it, gets it to New. New going to take it right at Bazarian. And he misses the shot. Bazarian forces the miss on the much bigger New. But New able to get the board back, and that puts a second player into double figures. This here's Wagner coming around the screen, dishes it off to Francis. Jack up top. Langley going to try to stretch the floor and knocks it down. Nate Langley again. Wagner takes a spill off the bump from Gully. And that's another three for the Trojans. They're up to 79. Gully misses the shot. Rebound goes to Langley. Up ahead to Wagner. Now Anderson with the opportunity to score on the break again. Tries to go over to Whitlow, and he loses it. Now here comes Andrews. He's going to take it all the way in to the basket. Fast break points for Tay Andrews. That's three players now for Lockhart in double figures. Anderson calls the timeout, 342. Remain in the game. Three forty-two left. Anderson with a seventy-nine to fifty-two lead. They lead it by twenty-seven. It's a full timeout, so we'll go ahead and keep it right here. Twenty-four in the game for Francis. Fourteen for Blackerby. Mitchell Whitlow able to set a new district tie with thirteen, better than his game against Northeast. Nate Langley also right there with fourteen. So he and Blackerby even there. Mike Wagner with eight. Ben Bazarian with four, and Fred Dale with two.
It'll be Campbell Duncan back into the game along with Colin Page, Liam Donahoe, Jackson Gill, and Corey Price. That's, that's Longhorn legend, Colin Page, to you. Under 340 to go now. Here comes Price, trying to get shifty on his defender. He's able to get it into Campbell Duncan. Campbell going to drive the paint, gets around the defender and to the basket. What a move by Campbell Duncan for his first make of the game. Two points for him halfway through the fourth quarter here. And that's going to be a foul against Donahoe, so DJ Williams will head to the line. And after the huge fourth quarter, Lockhart hasn't stood much of a chance. 34 points in the opening frame for the Trojans and very quietly on their way to what could be another season high in points. They just need uh, seven more. As DJ Williams goes two for two from the line there, it's 81 to 54. Now here comes Jackson Gill, Price into the corner. Now he's driving in, gets it to Campbell Duncan. Campbell going to take it to the hoop. No good. Rebound Donahoe. Liam's basket is good. Campbell took a hit there. No foul called, but Liam able to clean it up for him. That's another one for the Anderson Trojans. It's 82 to 50, 83 to 54, excuse me. Firing away. That's no good. Rebound goes to Donahoe. They haven't put it up on the board yet. But here comes Gill. Jackson driving around. Back outside for Price. Price going to come up firing. That's no good. Rebound to, uh, to Campbell Duncan. Colin Page has it on the wing. Back outside for Price. Going to take it into the hoop. Dish it off to Gill at the last minute and passes it in to Jackson, who able to hit the shot. As I think they've shortchanged Anderson by two. I think they should have 85 off of that last make. Yeah, they do. Okay, they, they fixed it. 85-24-54 as Anderson now with the Price steal has their largest lead of the game. Price going to go behind the back and lose it going up. He was halfway to an incredible highlight as now Duncan and Gill are going to get a minute of rest as Hull and Andrew Alexander are in. So it's Page, Donahoe, Hull, Alexander, and Price. Two minutes to play. Anderson just needs a three to set a new season high. Now they dish it off, shot at the rim, and that's good. Nice shot there for Joaquin Lopez. 85-56, Page on the handoff. Colin back outside for Alexander. Andrew going to put it on the floor, dishes it off to Donahue, who's going to go in. Kicks it back to the corner for Page. His three-pointer is no good. Rebound goes to Lockhart, and they'll come the other way with it. So an excellent win overall for the Trojans. They come out hot, and they stayed hot. Pushes it to what could be their season high on the on the year for points. Is Price going to take it all the way to the basket? Coast to coast, and one, Corey Price. So that ties it. The most points scored in a game for Anderson this season was 87 uh, in the home game against McCallum, and Price has a chance to set it again here with this free throw. And he does just that. So Corey Price instrumental in getting Anderson its season high in both games. You remember that McCallum one was where his big explosion, he had something like 13 points off the bench. That's his first make and free throw of the game. So he has three. Hop step, and that's got to be a travel against Williams. <laughs> 88-56. Just over a minute to go, so we were just about done here as Price takes it in, loses it going up, and Lopez the one to come away with it. Now here comes Williams for Lockhart. Anderson will get the win here as Price going to get whistled for a foul there. That sends DJ Williams back to the line where he has both of his points today. Anderson going to pick up the win here to improve to 24-8. and Going to make it 11-0 and in district play on the season. Next time that we will be with you will be at home on Tuesday the 8th at 7.30. Not our usual 8 o'clock time or 7.30 time for Travis as the front end of the 1-1 one one is no good. Rebound goes to Alexander Price the other direction. Just over a minute to play. Now just under a minute to play. So Anderson up by 32 now as Price shifting his defender a little bit with that crossover. Loses it, gets it back outside the hole. Now Anderson 
Might just hold on to it for the moment, but looking to do something with it, it looks like. Price puts it on the floor, spins. But that'll probably do it for us. Time to just run out the clock as Travis will be the next opponent for Anderson. Still winless in district play. It's a great opportunity for Anderson to extend that streak. They, of course, have locked up a playoff spot already. And now they are just one step closer to that number one seed. I believe they'll need one more win to lock it up. Let's hope they can do that on Tuesday as we have 15 seconds left. Anderson picking up the win probably will end up with the final score of 88 to 56 as we will indeed as they get it out to Hull. That'll do it for us here. Jack Francis' team high of 24. Blackerby with 14. Langley with 14. Whitlow with 13. Wagner with 8. Price, uh, excuse me, Bazarian with 4. Price with 3. Gill, Campbell, Duncan, Donahoe, and Dale also with 2. That'll do it for your scoring for Anderson. Ja Gulley led the way as he has all season for Lockhart. 26 points, 11 for Andrews, 10 for Major New. Puts them back under 500 on the season, 14 and 15. They fall to 7 and 4 in district play. Anderson improves to 24 and 8, 11 and 0 in district play. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to the broadcast and joining us this afternoon. We will be back on Tuesday. 88 to 56 is the final score. Anderson picks up the victory, a real solid team win. An excellent first quarter propels the Trojans to yet another district victory, their 35th, no, excuse me, their 25th in a row. So not a bad streak at all. I want to thank you again for tuning in. We'll be back soon. Hope you all have a great weekend, a great rest of your afternoon. Hopefully you're all able to stop off and get some barbecue on your way home. But for us, we'll see you soon. We'll be back on Tuesday. That's your final score on the on the screen, 88 to 56. Corey Price knocks it in. Anderson, that 88th point, that's going to be their season high of points, 87, broken against McCallum just a few games ago. Now 88 against Lockhart. Anderson really starting to, to get it going on all cylinders. This is an excellent basketball team that's playing excellent basketball at the right time. That'll do it for us. Going to go ahead and sign off. I have been Jack Farrell. Always a pleasure bringing you some Anderson basketball. We'll be back on Tuesday. Good afternoon, everybody.